We are covering Colorado first at five tonight. Concern and outrage after a little boy is poked with a hypodermic needle that he found at a Fort Collins park. The four year old's mother posted photos of the needle and a warning for everyone on her Facebook page. Well, now that little boy is going to have to be tested for some serious illnesses. That needle was lying near a tree. It happened in Lee Martinez Park, which is just north of downtown Fort Collins. Our Melissa Garcia in Fort Collins. And Melissa, what a scare for this family and others who use parks like this. A huge scare, and I think any parent out there can understand right now. Now, the mom says that her son was playing, picking up pine cones and throwing them that he got from under a tree just feet away from the playground. But little did she know he would also pick something up that could infect him with a disease. More than a thousand people have commented on this Fort Collins mother's Facebook post. She says her four year old son was on the playground at Lee Martinez Park when he found this syringe under a tree, picked it up, and was poked by the hypodermic needle. It's a busy park where many parents, like Michael Revoir, take their kids. Hopefully, this is a fluke. I've grown up here my whole life and never heard of anything like this before. At an immediate trip to the doctor's office, staff drew the little boy's blood to test for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. That poor mother, she must have been terrified. I'm Rebecca Cranston parent. is the regional director for the Northern Colorado AIDS Project and says the nonprofit proposed putting safe syringe disposal kiosks throughout the city to prevent incidents like this. It has not been passed. There's a lot of resistance, but what people really need uh, our options for safer disposal. NCAP has started a community cleanup program asking for volunteers to help pick up needles that have been discarded where they don't belong. There's nothing like that going on currently uh, that's sponsored by the city or the, the county. So we will go out with our trash bags and our sharps containers and we'll actually be cleaning up the uh, syringes or, or other trash that, um, that might be out in public parks. And those cleanups are going to happen every month, she says. And of course, they are looking for volunteers, as you heard. You can find information about those upcoming cleanups on our website, cbsdenver.com, under links and info. Now, you can also find their safe disposal sites for people who do use needles, including those here in Fort Collins. As for the boy who poked himself with the needle by accident, um, doctors say it is too soon to tell if he was infected with a disease, but they're going to continue monitoring him. Luckily, Luckily, they say that the chances are low. We're live in Fort Collins. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. All right, Melissa, thank you.